Hey parents, before we start this episode, remember that your family can enjoy hundreds of fun and educational free videos like this one for kids of all ages. Be sure to subscribe to get all the new shows and updates at PragerUKids.com. Okay, a girl, put the jacket on. <laughs> oh, hi. Welcome to Otto's Tales. I'm Jill, and today Otto and Smidge here are getting me ready for an expedition. Uh, oh, pink gloves. Very cute, Smidge. I do like pink. Uh, are you sure I need all of this stuff? I mean, it's kind of getting hot in here. What's so funny? And hey, what? Where are you two going? Now what am I supposed to do? Oh. <laughs> of course. Time to read Otto's Tales. Let's visit an Alaskan glacier. This is the best way to travel. Smidge stacked her plate with lots of yummy food. I'm so happy Dennis's family invited us to come on this Alaskan cruise. I'm going to eat and nap all week long. Ruff, ruff, Otto barked. You already do that at home. We should go on a fun adventure, like an excursion. Dennis gave me a list. The bulldog showed his friend a colorful paper with pictures. Smidge looked for a place to sit instead. There's so much to do on the ship, like eating snacks and sitting by the pool. But we're only in the city of Juneau for one day, Otto insisted. Alaska has so many different things to see, like mountains, forests, and lakes. The kitten pushed open a door and nearly fell backward with a quick, chilly breeze coming across the deck. Alaska is cold! Do you want some of my hot chocolate? Otto asked. Smidge eagerly grabbed his mug, but lost control of her heavy plate. Whoa! The bulldog caught her plate, but the paper slipped from his paws. The wind blew it over the edge of the ship. That was close! The kitten exclaimed. Otto sighed. Now I have to find another list. Did someone drop this? Someone called from the sea below. The friends peeked over the rails and saw a sleek orca whale waving a giant fin. That's ours, Otto barked. Meet us at the dock. Smidge was eating a delicious cookie as the bulldog pulled her away. My lunch! Down on the docks, they searched the crowd. Over here, the whale shouted. Thanks for saving my list. I'm Otto, and this is Smidge, the bulldog greeted. Hi, I'm Sita. Do you need some ideas for where to visit? Smidge snatched the paper. All of these are outside. Are there any cozy indoor things to do? Sita laughed. This state is known for its outdoor activities. Many people come every year to explore our beautiful forests, mountains, and glaciers. What's a glacier? The kitten asked. A giant piece of ice, Sita explained. We have a very famous one nearby called Mendenhall Glacier. The Tlingit people from here once called it the Seton Tagu, or the glacier behind the town. That's where my name comes from, and I know you'll love it. Oh, I've seen pictures of glaciers before, Smidge nodded. I thought they were melting. Sita replied, the ice is always changing and moving. It would take hundreds of years for these glaciers to completely melt. Wow, Otto barked, we'll definitely check it out. With a wave, the orca belly flopped back into the sea. Splash! Smidge pointed on the paper. Look, we can take a helicopter there. I can't wait to sit back and enjoy the view. Hovering over a big white field of ice and snow, the friends leaped out of their helicopter and thumped onto the top of the glacier. We're going to stay in the helicopter, 
the kitten shivered. We could, but it's more fun to explore the glacier for ourselves, Otto said. Smidge plopped in the snow and began digging. How much ice do I need for ice cream? Excuse me? A mysterious voice bellowed. Who's there? The friends looked around. A white polar bear was suddenly before them. I think I lost my tour group. Have you seen anyone? Smidge froze. You're a polar bear. I thought you were all extinct. That's just a myth, the bear smiled. We still live where it's cold, but I'm on vacation. I love traveling south to enjoy the warmer weather. You think this is warm? The kitten was shocked. Compared to where I live? Oh, yeah. Good thing you have all that fluffy fur, the bulldog grinned. By the way, I'm Otto, and this is Smidge. John Muir, nice to meet you, the bear replied. I share a name with the man who spent his career studying nature and preserving it for us to enjoy. When he found this glacier during his travels, he named it Ock Glacier. It was later renamed Mendenhall Glacier after Thomas Mendenhall, the man who helped decide the border between Canada and Alaska. Wow, this glacier has had a lot of names, Otto marveled. I want to name something, Smidge piped in. You've got to discover something first, Otto replied. The kitten lifted her snow pile. Fresh glacier ice cream, Mr. Muir smiled. I think you're missing a few ingredients, but it's very smart to think of ways to use the things around you. Since the beginning of time, people and animals have had to rely on nature to get the resources they need for daily life. Did you know that when glaciers melt, they provide water for both people and animals to drink? Really? Otto asked. I thought glaciers melting was a bad thing. Sometimes melting can cause problems for people, like when there's flooding, the bear said. But nature changes all the time for many reasons. Did you know that much of North America was under glaciers in the last ice age? Now we have mountains, rivers, lakes, forests, and even cities in their place. As the earth changes, we do too. I didn't realize how powerful nature is, the kitten admitted. If nature is so big and hard to control, then how can we protect it? Mr. Muir looked them in the eyes. Through stewardship. What's that? Smidge wondered. Stewardship means to take care of something, the polar bear explained. You take care of your body by giving it food and water so it can stay healthy. You keep the environment healthy by picking up after yourself and leaving any place you visit better than you found it. A great way to help our Earth is to focus on the things that are your responsibility. Right, Otto nudged Smidge. Yeah, she agreed, dropping her pile of snow back onto the glacier. She began stomping the snow back into place with Otto's help. Crunch, crack. Stop, Mr. Muir warned, but it was too late. The ice broke and the three fell through. Down, down, down. Oof! Smidge dusted snow off herself. Where are we? In an ice cave. Mr. Muir announced. Bright colors glowed around them. I didn't know ice could be so blue. Otto marveled at the sight. Ice absorbs all the light we can see except for blue, which bounces back for our eyes to see. Ice caves are special, always growing and shrinking. This one could disappear and another could show up somewhere else, the bear shared. So there's always new things to discover, the kitten exclaimed. If we're the first to fall in this one, I bet it needs a name. 
How about Smidge's secret cave? Otto looked at the hole above them. Well, the secret's out now. Good, the kitten said with pride. I want everyone to see this beautiful place. The bulldog smiled. All right, Smidge the Explorer, we visited your cave. Now, how do we get out of here? The kitten spun around, searching the cave. Hmm, well, there's a couple of ways. Follow me, Mr. Muir patted her arm. I've been in many ice caves before. The friends followed the polar bear, naming every new cave as they carefully made their way through the giant ice maze. Finally, they came out onto a rocky area by the lake. Thank you for getting us out safely, Otto told Mr. Muir. The bear smiled. You're welcome. I'm going back to the visitor center to find my tour group. Enjoy the rest of your time here. The friends waved as Mr. Muir walked away. Are you ready to be stewards? Otto winked at Smidge. Yes! She looked around and picked up Otto's scarf from the ground, helping him wrap it back around his neck. I can't wait to tell Dennis about this excursion, the bulldog barked. Back at the cruise ship, the friends found Dennis on his room's balcony, his nose in a book. I was wondering when you two would get back. What'd you do today? We visited Mendenhall Glacier and met a polar bear, Smidge exclaimed. We learned a lot about Alaska and how powerful nature is. Otto jumped in. And one of our new friends taught us how to be good stewards and care for nature so we can all enjoy it. We should always be responsible and leave places better than we found them. That's great! Dennis was impressed. Responsibility is an important lesson to learn. That was my favorite adventure yet, Otto howled. You say that every time, Otto, Smidge laughed. Do you two want to watch the Northern Lights with me? Dennis's eyes lit up. It's going to be a clear night. The friends nodded and settled in as the sky grew darker. Dazzling stars and streams of colorful light danced across the night sky. I can't wait to do another excursion wherever we stop next, Smidge shared. Ruff, ruff, the end. <laughs> now I understand why I had to be ready for the cold. Otto Smidge, you two are very clever and very funny. But nature is pretty amazing, isn't it? <laughs> Learning how to love and respect nature as it changes is an important responsibility for all of us. And we can all do certain things to help nature, like not litter and not waste water, right? But it's almost impossible to control nature. Yes? Yes. Uh, do I still need to wear these gloves? Whew. It's hot. <laughs> Thank you for watching Otto's Tales. Check out some of our other stories too. Keep reading, keep watching, and keep learning all about the great places that make America special. Bye-bye. <laughs> Thank you for watching. You know we've got more episodes, right? Watch the whole series on our website. And parents, you can subscribe at PragerUKids.com.